Welcome and thanks for tuning in. First up is Joyce Brox going to tell us about the United Way campaign for this year. Go ahead, Joyce. The 2020 United campaign is underway. In the next week or so, you're going to see white envelopes like this start showing up in your stations. Inside, you're going to find these little packets. Now, this is some information about United Way that will interest you. And tucked into each one of these packets is your pledge card. They're just like last year. Just go through, sign your name and address, make sure you put your employee ID number on here. If you want to pledge, you fill out option one. Remember, we have 26 pay periods in our year. Or you can make a cash or check. You can ask them to send you a bill. The credit card option is not available. If you want to send your donation to a specific 501c, you fill out the last block down here. The code numbers are on the back of the yellow copy. Most important of all, make sure you sign that before you return it to me and keep the yellow copy for yourselves. Each division is asked to do some sort of a fundraiser each year, so we're going to do the Pledge for a T-shirt month again this year. It'll be designated this year. They did it in September, and it'll be up to Chief Weech when we do it next year. When you look at your packet, pull out this little card. This is about the 211 program. I just wanted to share with you that typically we, the United Way gets about 500 calls a month to this number asking for help. During COVID, they've been getting 4,200 calls. So United Way is a efficient, easy way to give back to your community. If you have any questions, if you need a pledge card, you can email me at Joyce Brock at polk-county.net. Um, thank you for your time, and I look forward to getting those pledge cards. Thanks, Joyce. Uh, next up, I've got a few things for you that may be of interest to uh, you and your family. First, uh, next week we're going to begin having flu shots. Now, we're, they're, they've been ordered and they're supposed to be in, but you know with the way shipping is. But sometime next week, the, the inventory, our shipment, is supposed to be in flu shots. It's the same program as last year. The bat chiefs and other medics will be uh, having the vaccines. will be able to uh, take them out uh, either at the office or training or wherever you're at. And um, each employee will either sign a, a, a consent form and get the vaccine or sign the declination form uh, and refuse it whichever way they want to do it. And so we encourage you, of course, to take the flu shot, but, but uh, it is your choice. So that's coming up. Also, open enrollment for your benefits begins October 19th. Uh, the meetings will be mostly uh, Zoom or virtual. They, they've got maybe two or so, three uh, I actual in-person meetings scheduled. Uh, Liz does Liz Hubner from Benefits. They're going to be in the very large venues where they can maintain the social distancing. Uh, also, Liz is going to do, be on my video next week. I'm going to uh, put her on their sheet. Uh, has the information for fire rescue, so you're going to get a little bit more information next week, some slides and everything. But just want to give you a heads up, October 19th begins the uh, open enrollment period for 2021. Training, those folks are busy in training, as you can imagine. In-service is starting next week, and the topics are going to cover next week, in, in the, is beginning next week in the in-service, is uh, ground ladders and ventilation. So uh, that's well-needed stuff, but we can always get the basics. Man, we need the basics. Also, something very important, uh, in talking with them, Elsa wanted me to remind everybody that your certificates, please send them to firetraining at polk-county.net. Some people are sending them to some of the training officers or, or different places. You know, we want to make sure that you get credit for everything and it's posted in a, in a timely manner. So make sure we send them to firetraining at polk-county.net. Emails here below on here. Also, um, next week starts another group of new hires in training. So uh, Monday morning, as a matter of fact, so we're, you know, we're doing everything we can to, to alleviate some of the staffing issues, but they're starting another new hire class. Again, training is super busy always. So uh, we thank those folks for what they do down there. They're working pretty hard. But if you do see some of the new hires and, and you happen to be down there in and around training, go ahead and, and uh, you know, welcome them, uh, encourage them, and make them feel welcome here at Polk County Fire Rescue. Uh, we want those folks to, uh, the, our good folks that we're hiring today, to, to, to be around a while. So make them feel welcome if you see them. Well, that's all I've got today. Uh, if you got any uh, questions or any suggestions for topics, again, it's Rick Parnell at polk-county.net. Uh, Rick Parnell at polk-county.net, and we'll uh, see you next time.